Oh my gosh, that's a Model Y. Oh my gosh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I have to go say hi. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at Tesla's latest software update, 2020.24.6.1. We have a bunch of really good improvements here. Software updates have been really good lately. We've been getting a lot of features in the updates and we've been getting a good amount of updates lately. Before we get started, I do wanna say thank you to my newest patron, Johnny. Thank you so much, Johnny. I really appreciate that. Welcome to the frunk. So heading out here, we're gonna go look for some green lights. We'll talk about all the features on our way there. I'll also put up a nice picture of the release notes if you wanna pause so you can check those out. Uh, but the first biggest feature is now autopilot will go through green lights. Can you believe it? This is revolutionary. No other car company has thought of going through green lights like Tesla has. And we're going to try it out today. So you actually, to go through a green light, you actually need a lead car in front of you. So we'll have to find the right scenario, but no big deal. It is really exciting. It is going to improve the user experience of this. And it's a nice baby step to get more autonomous features into our cars. Now the software still won't make turns at intersections, but there is some interesting language here uh, talking about learning and it'll get new abilities or whatever. And I don't know exactly. They're not very clear. They're not saying like soon we're getting turns or anything like that but it sounds like it's coming um, from this language. It's gonna be here, I mean, we know eventually, but maybe sooner than we thought. So next up is backup camera improvements. Really cool here. So now we have the side repeaters you can look at live. So I can pull that up now. We can just hit this. Now this is how it's always been. We've seen the backup camera, but you pull this up temporarily. You get a little car icon here with a blue graphic to show you which camera, like where the camera is looking. And this is what we can see. This is live happening right now. Very cool for checking your blind spot. Um, eventually, hopefully uh, in the US, regulatory approval will come. So you don't need mirrors on the outside. They actually cause a lot of drag and reduce efficiency. And we can just have something like this. Some car companies have them you know, off to the side where your mirror would be. Uh, but with this, I can now see my blind spot without looking back. I can just take a peek at the screen you know, as I'm driving and I can see nobody's in my blind spot, make a lane change. So very cool. I'll also love this feature for uh, doing Tesla challenges and driving videos. I think you guys will really appreciate that. You'll be able to see a lot more of what I'm seeing. You cannot make these any bigger though. So the next feature is dash cam viewer improvements. Um, stopping at the double stop sign, doing a good job with that. When you look at a sentry mode clip, it'll have a little red uh, spot for you there on the player so that you can see where the event occurred that triggered sentry mode. Cause you get 10 minutes of video, you get some before and some after the event occurred. So this way you can much more easily go directly to where the event occurred. You can see if the um, file is valuable, if you care about it. And if it's not, you can just delete it and move on. Tune in improvements. So tune in is if you don't use Spotify, it's the built-in uh, media player, the internet connected media player for podcasts and all that. Um, so looks fine to me. I haven't really played with it too much. So if you search for a podcast, play grounded podcast. So that'll come up. Number one, that's my podcast. If you're not subscribed, if you enjoy podcasts or whatever. All right, to finish up the release notes before we get to the green light, uh, walk away door unlock. Now you can make it so when you're home, your doors won't automatically lock. A feature the car's had for a long time is when you walk away, the doors automatically lock. And at home for me, that's annoying. I park in the garage. I don't really need that. Um, and thank you, Jeremy Judkins. Check out his YouTube channel. Oh my gosh, that's a Model Y. Oh my gosh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'll put a timestamp if you want to skip this part. Oh, I have to go say hi. All right, that was super exciting. Sorry. Okay, let's keep going. So walk away. Oh, it's so amazing. And you got that. That's what I would get. I mean, maybe a different color because I have that color, but those wheels. All right, let's let's focus here. Um, walk away door unlocks. Whatever. You can leave it unlocked at home. Yay. Uh, cabin camera. So this one is kind of weird because you can't actually like see it yourself. Um, but in case of an accident or something, you can, if you want, enable this camera. And if there's an accident or whatever, footage and pictures will be recorded, sent to Tesla to help with safety and data and whatever. So I, I kind of take this as like you're texting and driving with autopilot and you crash, then they can really be like, ah, forget you. Um, but y you never know. All right. So while we're here, let's check out the Sentry. So you can see the little red dot here. He didn't recognize me, but I mentioned the channel. He's like, oh yeah, I've seen it. So that was cool. So yeah, there's your red dot, you know, and then you can go and see what triggered it. So we're getting closer. So you can click pretty close uh, and there. So whatever happened here, you know, we are sit standing there talking. So that triggered it um, and then that's it. So now you can see, you know, a lot quicker what made it happen. 
All right, so here we are out in traffic. We have a green light and the car's going. I did not confirm that, I just turned it on. You can see this green line here. Before that was red, always. Now it's gonna be red only when the car's gonna stop and it'll be green when the car's gonna go. It'll make this ability a lot nicer to use. So if you have a lot of green lights in a row, of course, you don't have to keep hitting this and hitting this and hitting this. So I'm curious what'll happen here. We're stopping at this red light. It'll turn green, I probably won't have to confirm. And there it is, oh, okay. Oh my gosh, the acceleration is good. All right, I thought it was gonna be faster. It's, it's good, it's not bad. Oh, and then it gets confused by this one. Oh, that's so annoying, but that's okay. So we have another green light, maybe it'll change, maybe it won't. Um, so that is awesome, oh my gosh. This, uh, these updates are just insane. So it says stopping, uh, nobody's behind me, so I'm gonna see, yeah, so it's red now. Now if I touch the accelerator, it turns green. It means it's going through. I didn't have someone in front of me there. And uh, as described in the release notes, it was gonna stop on green. So speed is still restricted on non-divided highways for this one. No surprise there. I really want that to go away. Uh, but another green light, we should go right through it. I did forget to mention, if you enjoy this video, please hit like and get subscribed. It really helps the channel. So going through these green lights, this experience is already so much better. I am so happy with this update already. Um, I've been doing some driving. Things seem to be working really well. This guy wants to cut us off, but you know, my car will do the braking for me, no big deal. Uh, so that's good. And then it's still braking, I'm not sure why. I'm gonna hit the accelerator to speed up a little bit, uh, but we would have went through that green light, no problem. Here's another example of green light with no lead car. So my car's gonna stop. Just hit that and bam, there we go. I should have these cameras up for you guys so you can see more what's going on. Got this new ability, why not use it? One other thing to mention as we approach this green light, I do have a gigantic baby and she is very hungry. So this video is sponsored by DroneQuote. If you are thinking of getting solar to charge your Tesla, which is what I do, you should check out DroneQuote. They will give you free quotes from multiple places, getting you the best price and they do that all for free. So check out the link in the description. They're really great guys. So overall, this update is really nice. I'm loving it. I am really excited, of course, about the green lights, but also just staying uh, unlocked at my house. That's huge for me. And then changing my wheels. Um, that's really cool. So I think, I don't know if I showed this earlier, but I changed them to this because it's more similar to what my wheels look like. Did not confirm that green light, by the way. So this is working great. Oh, I also have my follow distance really high. So this is another feature. I don't think I mentioned this, but there are some other things in the update that Tesla didn't mention. And this is one of them. Now you can have aero wheels with the cap kit. So with the aero caps off. And they also added the new uh, 20 inch wheels. I forget what they're called, like, uh, zero G I think wheels. So they added those as well. And now you can change your car to have that if you have that. So that's really nice. I think there were a couple other things that came with this update that may not have been uh, mentioned in the release notes. I will put those in the description. So check for that just in case I didn't include those. So hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, these updates, they're just so awesome. I'm so excited. Uh, and that Model Y, that made my night. Uh, I'm gonna, turns out he lives like five minutes from me, not even like two minutes from me. So we may be seeing a Model Y video soon. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. I look forward to talking to you down in the comments and you will see my car in the next video. So Autopilot and I are happily driving along 